So iOS 18 actually brought over a new photos application that I think a lot of people want to go and basically know, learn, basically know more about. And I'll go and break down exactly how to use this new app. So if we go and open up photos, you'll see this is basically what the new photos application looks like. Now on the iPad, it looks a little bit nicer, but on iPhones, this is what it essentially looks like. So the very top, you'll have all your photos right here. But as soon as you log in, you'll see just the you know spotlights at the very bottom. They used to be at the top. Now they're at the very bottom. So you can kind of scroll through and see all the different other photos that you have that you've taken on your particular iPhone. If you scroll up, you'll basically see that now we get into our tab that we kind of saw before, but now we have to swipe up to kind of see it now. So the very top left, you'll see the library. You'll see the amount of photos that you have right there. You'll also see search bars. So you can click on the search bar up here if you want to just search through all the different photos that you have. So you can search for a year or a summer 2017, summer 2020. You can just kind of search for whatever you want to, which is actually very cool. And then you can click on the top right if you want to get access to your particular iCloud account. So here you can see how much you know, storage you have saved within iCloud. You can show your you know main, uh, you can show your hidden album inside a main menu, and you have a lot of other things you can kind of just kind of you know mess around here too a little bit, which is genuinely very cool. So now you can scroll through and you can find all the photos that you have. And, you know, I'm not going to show you too much in detail on, you know, every single little photo. But if you go and click on a photo, you'll see these little options. And you can always go through and the editing options are still the same. So if you want to just exit out of a photo, you can just click exit to exit out. You can also click on the three dots if you want to copy a photo, duplicate, hide a photo. If you want to show it in all photos, add to an album, adjust date and time and adjust location. At the very bottom left, you can go and click on the share icon if you want to go and share this type of photo out. So I think this is something that's very cool. I think you can just share a photo out like this, and I, I think that's a really nice thing. You can also click on the heart icon if you want to to quickly like heart a particular photo, which I think is nice. You can click on the iPhoto if you want to just get more access to a photo and see this kind of stuff too. You can also click on the edit button right here if you want to, if you want to just quickly edit up a photo. So you can click on the, the icon here. You can kind of edit out whatever you want to. You can make a photo brighter, less bright. You can click on the this photo icon and you can change out whatever you want to. It is a really nice thing that you can basically do. Just go and like edit up these particular photos this way. You can go click on done in the top right corner. And you can also delete a photo by clicking on the delete button. Now swiping back down, if you want to swipe through and actually change your view of everything, you can also click on the months panel if you want to. And this will actually show you all the months that you have within your photos. This is really cool. And under years, you'll see all the years of all the photos that you've taken. And this is another cool thing if you really want to get into it. You have this type of option here, which is really cool. Now clicking on the X button, if you swipe down here, this is where you get into other options. So you can see your pinned collections here. So these are all the things that you've pinned. You can keep scrolling and you can see all of your memories. So you can see all the memories that you basically have right here. Keep scrolling. This is where you can see all your albums. So all the albums that you've taken on your iPhone, you can see all those albums right here inside of this particular albums panel. So you can tap on albums and see all of them here, which is actually very, very cool. It's a little bit more annoying than before because you know I will really change this whole entire app out. You can scroll down one more time to see your featured photos. So these are photos that are just featured throughout the, I guess the time that you've taken them or whatever. And you can scroll down and you can, you know, kind of categorize your photos and videos depending on videos, live photos, portrait panoramas, hidden recipes and illustrations and things like that. So at the very bottom, you can click on the customize panel. If you want to customize your whole entire layout, if you want your photos to not be there, if you want to replace these photos, if you want your collections to be, you know, organized a little bit more, change it, you can do all that right here as well, which again is so cool to have. So that pretty much covers it up here for the most part. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.